Hey, what's up guys? Second Crip over here back again with some more FTP Skies Expert Mode. Oh yeah, so we left off, we played with the Spirit mod and we summoned a Blaze to get a Blaze Burger. Uh, between episodes, I did a lot of work. Uh, I flattened out this entire island. Um, I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong, the decorations look good, it's just... I don't really need all those decorations, especially, especially if I'm just like the hesitant person that I am in building out my platform. Also, apparently there is a dirt nest in one of these, but apparently uh, apparently the dirt nest is not useful in this pack, so I'm just going to go ahead and break it. Oh. Oh, I get it. Okay. I wasn't expecting to get it. I thought it was just going to break. But, uh, okay. I mean, I might as well find a place for it. There we go. Why does my game seem super quiet to me? Hang on a second. Never mind. Uh, anyway, uh, so also between episodes, I put my blaze burners down in a couple places because I'm going to need them for things. Specifically, I want to try to get going with some of this stuff. Uh, let's see, crystallized amber would be a really good one. Um, yeah. Yeah, this would probably be good. So, so we need honey or lava with fire coral, which is... Right, one of the easiest ways to get fire corals by doing this. But I think, it, yeah, okay, so sifting dirt in a string mesh, 5% chance while it's waterlogged. So not amazing. I think this might be the easiest way, but also it requires redstone. So I mean, we can, we can do, we could do that, I guess. Oh. You know what I just realized? With me flattening this, I need I need a way up here so that way I can that way I can put blood in there. And there's already a couple in my inventory. Alright. Alright. Um I guess uh guess it's me. Yep. Yeah, I guess it's time to do that so that way I can uh, get some fire coral. Okay. I mean, that's, it's not great in terms of me staying alive, but you know. I also, also unfortunately between episodes, I died. So I think I may have lost a lot of experience, but I think it'll be fine. I don't know. Point is, uh, let's see. So, oh, we need gold for this as well. That's right. Yeah, so gold ingot. Compacting gold shards. Overheated blaze burner. Okay, gold shards. Uh, primitive slurry to redstone in the super cooler. Primitive slurry. Mixing four gravel will get me a bucket. Okay, so we are going to need more redstone. Let's get four of these. Four of these. And then we need. Uh, then we need some coal. Hold on. Do we have like, let's see, do we have like actual coal or is it all compacted? It's not all compacted. Good. Okay, I need to, okay, that's fine. So do, I need another, oh, that's, that's right, there's still sand there. Um, I need this lever in a more centralized spot. So that way I can get to it without having to reach around all of this stuff. My god. So if we do this and then this. There we go, primitive slurry. Now we just need to super cool this. Nope. We need to super cool this. I need uh, I need some uh, I need some peat as well. Probably be a good idea. Okay, there you go. Gold shards, check. All that glitters. Let's give me that. We want this here. We need to compact this in here. My depot's sitting there. That's fine. Uh, so do that. This go. Makes slag as well, so not amazing, but you know. 
We've got some gold. So, I mean, first ingots. We'll get some more as well. Uh, okay, so the amber also needs a fire charge. Blaze powder. I'm pretty sure we have some blaze powder somewhere. Do we have blaze powder? Hold on, let's see. Oh, it's sitting in here. Okay. Okay, so blaze powder, gunpowder, and coal. Fire charge. It's pretty dark over here. Yeah, but I think I think it'll be fine. I, di I didn't see anything that's... Oh, wait, no, not that. And then we need... Wait, then we need some honey. Either that or lava. I'm thinking honey. Um... I'm thinking honey mainly because I have a lot of honey over here. Can't put it back. Okay, great. Love that. But luckily it is it is easy to do that. Honey bucket. And then we just put that back. We get more honey later and uh yeah, I think I think we're going to be good to go. So we do that. I should get another fire coral, if I'm going to be... Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's get another fire coral. Which means we're going to need four more redstone. And then we're going to need to jump on this a few times. Come on. Alright, I cannot jump in that again. Because uh, I am almost dead. I also just need to stay away from any fire that I see, because, yeah. Okay, so do that, that, that. Might as well just use, might as well just use all the honey in there so that way I don't have to worry about only having like half a bucket. Should probably, should probably take some bone meal over to the wheat. Okay, so the sweet berries will also help. Uh, granted, they're not excellent food sources. Eh, actually, honey honey is an okay food source, so... Huh. I did not realize that that was the sound for eating honey. Oh my god, that is a weird sound. But now, uh, but now I know where the sounds come from when I'm, uh, when I'm doing... when I'm jumping on the blood sigil. Let's see. Let's get let's get a couple more get a couple more seeds going. Probably a good idea. I'm I'm definitely gonna need some wheat. So okay. Um, how about we just do? Let's do one, two, three, four. One, two, two, three, four. Just do a whole line of it. I mean, rich soil will help as well, so yeah. But I definitely need to keep my uh, my bone meal reserves going. So, ah, I keep forgetting that. I, I, I don't know why I keep forgetting that. Uh, where's my composter? Let's see, Com composter. It's sitting out somewhere. Oh, it's sitting out here. Okay. Hang on. Oh, that was not great. Let's go ahead and get this wheat going. Then that. That's not that's not doing much for me. Come on, here we go. Let's go ahead and turn that on for a little bit because I need to get this. Uh, yeah, I need to do that because I can't have everything running right now. Yeah, I can't have everything running right now because of the because of the water wheels. 
once I uh, once I get once I get some more uh, once I get some more of uh, stress production going, then yeah, I can. But you know, maybe I should see. Let's see, bread. Is there anything that I can use bread with? Uh, let's see, mutton wrap. Uh, that's gonna need sheep though, and onions, and cabbage. So basically, I need to figure out how to get cabbage seeds. Wild cabbage market, where I can sieve dirt in the andesite mesh. Okay. Yeah, I do have a lot of dirt. Let's see. Um, onion. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think onions have a seed, so I'm gonna have to. Let's see. I mean, luckily cabbage. Wait, luckily cabbage seeds you can get from just sitting this. Um, what else can I get? Pasture seeds, uh, tomatoes. Hey, tomatoes, beetroot. That's pretty good. Yeah, I should, I should probably take some dirt to the sieve over here. Probably a good idea. Um, what else can I do? Bacon sandwich needs tomatoes and needs cabbage. Roast chicken. Going Glidia Bruschetta? I don't, okay. That's interesting. An egg sandwich. I mean, I have some eggs, but not uh, not infinite. Kangaroo. A kangaroo burger. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a uh, pretty sure that's a thing in in like Australia. The I don't remember. Do I have a carrot. Where do I get a carrot? Let's see. Wild carrot. Can buy that from the market. Can just buy carrots from the market. Let's see, husks and zombies and zombie villagers. Yeah, I really. Oh boy. Let's see, carrot, potato. Don't have any of those either. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to get some stuff in the market, probably, because it's gonna be a while before I can uh, before I can do. Uh, it's gonna be a while before I can do a mana infusion. Yeah, it's really gonna be a while before I can do that. Um, diluted mana pool? Uh, nope. Yeah, so it's gonna be a while before I can do mana infusion. Probably even longer before I can do the alchemy catalyst. Yep. Definitely gonna be a lot longer before I can do the alchemy catalyst. My god, man. It's spell gems. I mean, I mean, this one's not terrible, but eh. You know, it's, it's gonna take a while before I can get there. So, let's see, eggs. Preferably, I want to use my eggs to try to start a chicken farm. I did just get a bunch of fences from tearing stuff down, so... Well, I got a bunch of spruce fences, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that should be that should be fine. So let's try this. Well, let's see. Let's see how many chickens I get, if any. Maybe I should. Uh... Yeah, whatever. It'll be fine. Actually, actually, let. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get enough uh, string. Oh no, I have I have wool. All right, uh, carpets, please. I want uh, I want to get the I want to get the carpet I want to get the carpet door going. So, well, well, the carpet trick in order to get in there, but you know, it's not where I wanted that. I want that here, because I, I, I mean, this trick is great. Okay, that was not great. That was not great in terms of getting a chicken. How many seeds do I have? Not a lot. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, I don't have a lot of seeds, which is not amazing. Um, okay, how about you grow up a bit more? Yeah, that's gonna take a while. I basically just used all of my eggs in order to get one chicken, and that's it. Is there? Oh, hold on, chicken. Well, I, I mean, I know there's the chicken in Palooza Pearl, um, 
Theoretically, theoretically, I could do that at some point. Oh, I forgot to get my crystallized amber out of here. Okay, so that gives me gives me a heart container. Thanks. <laughs> All right, and then an experience obelisk. Need a good way to store your XP? Don't worry, the experience obelisk is just a block for you. In its internal storage, it can store up to 100,000 buckets worth of experience. You can store experience, absorb nearby XP orbs, and give and take it from the player. For the next quest, you will need liquid XP, here called Cognitium. Okay, so yeah, experience obelisk would be a good thing to get. So we're going to need six iron plates, a piece of obsidian, a fluid tank. It's going to need two copper plates. And crystallized amber. All right, no wonder they wanted me to get crystallized amber. Okay, what do I... Where's my iron? Uh, iron, uh, we're looking for iron shards. Don't have any. All right, uh, give me just a second. I'm going to do some sitting. All right, it looks like we got the experience obelisk ready to go. So let's go ahead. I mean, so I need to transfer out of this. So probably best place to put it would be like over here and put it here, store all that. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I also did some XP stuff between cuts, so, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, fluid transporters, there we go. So we could do this and, uh, of course. We could do this and this. Actually, hang on. Give me all this. Because it might be easier to, it might be easier to do this if I, if the experience obelisk was like here. Yeah, it might be easier to transfer out if I do this. So, boom. All right. So, what's going on here? What do I need for this? War notebook. Oh. Okay, archwood. Book, no, wait, book and quill. Hold on, why do I have a book? Huh? Let's see, uh, worn, I think. Oh, it's in, it's in here, okay. Uh, some, uh, something tells me something tells me the FVB team uh, made an update to the quests. So, okay, so Archwood. So we need a bucket of cognition, blue dye, a sapling, and a Batania petal for the cascading one. For this one we need purple. For this one we need lime, and then for this one I'm guessing we need red. Yep. So how many buckets do we have? Six. Okay. So we can do this. That does not transfer out very quickly. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so well, actually, hang on. Let's take a look at this. Oh wait, no, no, no. I only need one. <laughs> oh my god, I only need one bucket. Oh, that's right. I can't. Uh, I can't bucket out of there. I have to bucket out using a different method. A little bit more. There we go. Yeah, so we really only need to get one of them. So basically, what's the easiest one for me to get? And do I have beetroot? Actually, hang on. How many poppies do I have? Because I don't have any. Hmm. Okay, uh, beetroot. I have some in here. Okay, cool. I mean, not only is beetroot great for, uh, uh, for food, it's also a good source of, uh, it's also a good source of dye. Actually, also just thought about this. I should have, I should have like a chicken nest around here so that way all, uh, that way all the eggs are getting picked up. Let's see, there are four, oh, here we go. Uh, here we go. Here are my five bees. What's going on with this hemp? Why is it not growing? Really need this to grow. Um, this is interesting. Okay, let's do... All right. Just go ahead and grow some beetroot. Yeah, I mean, uh, it would be, it would be really nice if this, the, it, it would be really nice if this hemp would grow because uh, I was taking a look at the recipe for the backpack uh, from Sophisticated Backpacks. And turns out, uh, they changed the recipe. It requires ersatz leather, 
which is honeycombs and tough fabric, which requires industrial hemp fiber. Yeah, it requires ersatz leather. And not only that, it can only go up to the gold tier. It can't go any higher. So not amazing, but eh, it'll, oh yeah, I can, I can do that. I think it should be fine. What's, hold on, what's going on here? Hmm. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I've got, I got way too much stuff in my inventory. Let's see, so wheat seeds, what should I do with these? Probably what I should do, let's just contribute to the compost pile a bit. We can grab this uh, industrial hemp fiber. I'm gonna take a guess and say that uh, that the hemp has changed between 118 and 119. So I didn't I didn't grow any at all in my in my uh, in the Kirby's Mod of Minecraft. So so who knows? It could have changed quite a bit. Is slag used for anything? Um, so it's a it's a way to make concrete powder fertilizer. Yeah. Okay, well. Let's see here. And so the amber can also be used for other things later. We're going to Oh, that's right. Let's get some bone meal and let's get a uh, let's get some uh let's let's get some beetroot going so I can get a quick uh, so I can get a quick sapling or get a quick red dye. There we go. And then we need a batania flower or batania petal. It shouldn't be it shouldn't be that bad. Um, I don't have any beetroot that's sitting out. Hmm. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, arch wood. Yeah, so I mean blazing. Uh, blazing would probably be the easiest to get. I think I have a batania flower somewhere in here. I mean, I have a mystical white here, but I. I think, let's see, cornflower, hold on, mystical. Okay, so there's a white there, there's some white here. Uh, this could be consolidated. There are a lot of cyan in here. All right, uh, so then we need some sort of sapling. Preferably, preferably not the ones from Hexere. Let's see. Sapling. Let's use birch since I'm uh, since I'm almost never going to use that wood. So birch, this, this. Oh wow, that's going to take a while. Uh, give me some more. Hey, give me some more of this. We need, we need to get some power going in here. Man, that is, uh, that is a little expensive. Yeah. But there we go, Archford saplings. There we go, now we have all of them. Okay, uh, imbuement chamber. We'll unlock the path toward catalyzing metals from raw metals. You'll need to obtain various mob drops and imbue them with source to convert them to something more beneficial. Source will generate on its own over time in the chamber, but later you can accelerate it with a vitalic source link. Mob farm in a box. Ooh. We provided you with schematic cannon and a prefab barrel with all the necessary items to automatically build a functional mob farm to use. After all, you've built enough mob farms before now, haven't you? Use the schematic table with a schematic and quill to copy over the mob farm.mbt onto it. Okay. Neat. Editor's note, the mob farm comes with cursed earth. This is known to burn up during sunlight, uh, so it's advised to build this during night or early morning. Also note, you can pulse the cursed earth with redstone. It'll greatly accelerate the spawn rates. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, editor's... Uh, so, uh, so, impugnment chamber would be nice. Oh, we're going to need more gold. Which is why they gave me some more. When, uh... Okay, so we're going to need to do that. So, boom. We're going to need to grow at least some of this archwood because I think in human chambers yeah they do need archwood so let's just do the blazing just because I can just give me give me the whole stack here 
Now, th these things can grow pretty tall, so... Yeah, that's, uh, that's a little big, but it, it's fine. Oh, man. I think on the bright side, I don't. Uh, I probably won't need archwood for a bit. Where is Omega? Oh, oh, it's right here. Okay. Okay, so this recipe is unchanged. Good. Maybe let's get the other two gold and just make two. Uh, just, let's just go ahead and make two of these imbuement chambers. Because I, I mean, I am gonna need to. I am gonna need to imbue some things anyway. So yeah, might uh, might as well might as well just get two of them. There we go. Imbuement chambers. I'll take that mob farm in a box. All right. Just cannot place that barrel yet. Okay. Source gems. Vitalic source link. Your first method of generating source for your Ars Magica. The Vitalic Source Link will capture the souls of nearby mobs that die and transfer them into a nearby source jar. Alright. Uh, I... Okay. So then Essences will get me a source jar and a dispenser. Fun fact of water shards. Place a raw fish inside a dispenser and dispense it. It will summon a live fish for you to re-kill and farm water shards. So yeah, definitely should be doing... I uh, definitely should be getting some more fish. I definitely should be getting some fish. Then Coke bricks. Fire essence. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Let's see, kiln bricks as well. The kiln brick is used to make a kiln. Put eight kiln bricks together and smack them with a hammer. Boom. Kiln. Now you can make alloys. Why do I need that? Why is that a prereq? For the ash bricks, maybe? No. Blast furnace only. Okay, so you have to... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so Ash uh, from Supplementaries. You have to Blast Furnace. And you have to Blast Furnace Wood. Alrighty. What we'll have next, be sure to tune in to the next episode of Etopeace Guys Expert. Mm -hmm.